Episode 1, The Dramaturgy of Reincarnation. Zed? Zed? Hey! How much longer are you planning on sleeping? Come on! Rise and shine, Zed! You're finally up, lucky you. I was about to take a leak on your face. No, scratch that, I feel a dump coming on. Ugh, that's disgusting, you damn dirty mutt. Can't you find a normal way to wake someone up? I already tried kicking you, gnawing on you, reheating you, even dicing and grating you, but nothing worked. Just what do you think I am? A rotten slab of meat. It takes one to know one. Whatever. So, where is that thing? Where else? In the middle of destroying stuff. Now this area is just a lawless zone full of rampaging demons. That's so? All right. Let's go take it down. Hold on, Zed. You're about to fight the strongest known god of destruction. You better get prepared first. Can you lend me a hand, dude? Not on your life. You didn't even hesitate, dude! Can't you at least hear me out first? What an annoying penguin. I don't give a crap about your problems. I'm not a penguin! I'm a pretty dude! What's a printy want from me? Hmm, I guess it has something to do with all the demons that started rioting when the God of Destruction showed up. Th that's absolutely right, dude! <laughs> Same as always. Same as always? Uh, who exactly are you guys, dude? These guys... Right. Witnessing the God of Destruction's immense power drove these demons mad. Here we go again. I don't care who they are. If they stand in our way, I'll kill them!
<laughs> Everyone who tries to stand in my way is gonna get beaten to a pulp! Y you're so strong! The zombies aren't supposed to be this powerful, dude! <laughs> What's the big deal? After all, compared to the God of Destruction, these guys are garbage. Um, you're falling apart at the seams. Are you sure you're okay, dude? Huh? Ah, don't sweat the small stuff. You definitely aren't normal, dude. Where do you wish to go? <laughs> I'll kill anyone who gets in my way! I'm starting to get the feeling that Zed might be far more dangerous than the God of Destruction, dude. It may surprise you, seeing as how that brat is on a murderous rampage, but he used to be a weak, kind-hearted zombie. Seriously? I find that hard to believe, dude. It's true. However, after endless battles of extreme proportions, Zed's heart has changed. Where do you wish to go? Zed, don't you think you've warmed up enough with all that fighting? A zombie. Our bodies don't get warm. But that was definitely good practice for the God of Destruction. Uh, hey Zed, are you seriously planning to fight the God of Destruction, dude? Mm, of course. That's the only reason I came to this netherworld. Have you lost your mind, dude? No matter how strong you may be, fighting that God of Destruction is insane. It's the strongest one in recorded history. It just shows up in every world and lays out total destruction, dude. Do you even know how many famous demon lords and overlords have challenged it only to be defeated, dude? Shut up. I'm going to take it down, no matter what. Zed, aren't you afraid of dying, dude? Well, I am a zombie. Dying is pretty much what we do. This guy is no ordinary zombie. Maybe if I stick with him, I could get really strong too, dude! Um, dude! What? Please, let me be one of your vassals, dude! Not on your life. You didn't hesitate this time either! Come on, don't say that! Please, dude! We printies are really handy, you know! We can cook, clean, do the laundry. You can even make us run errands, dude! If you accept my offer right now, I'll even throw in a year's supply of premium expired sardines, dude! Why would I want something like that? Come on, Zed. Let the Prinny be your vassal. You'll do whatever it takes to defeat this god of destruction, right? Well, when it comes down to it, I'm sure you'll need the help of some companions, too. Fine, whatever. But if you don't pull your weight, you're getting tossed. 
Got it, dude. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Zed. God of Destruction finally decided to show up. Hey, Prinny! Looks like you get to regret becoming my vassal already!
send them flying! I'll put you in the throat! and run if you want. But just so you know, Zed hasn't given up yet. <sighs> These are just flesh wounds. They don't hurt a bit. Zed! Is he really gonna keep fighting, dude? How is he even standing with all those wounds, dude? Zed has his own reasons for fighting. That's why, even if he dies, he'll never give up. He does? Why would he push himself so far, dude? Look out! Move! Zed! You took that hit from me, dude! Don't get the wrong idea. This rotten body of mine just acted on its own. I can't afford to lose. I gotta get stronger. 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 Stronger! Just you, Miko. I sure as hell ain't giving up. I see. So you fought the God of Destruction and suffered a crushing defeat. Wait a minute! You lost?! Hmm. Only you would have such a sharp eye for detail, Overlord Ivar. <laughs> yes, well, of course. Uh, wait a minute! You can't fool me with your compliments! You fought the strongest God of Destruction head-on? Risked your life for a prinny? This is nonsense. And to top it all off, you didn't even defeat the God of Destruction! You wretched liar! I'm not lying. There's no use trying to get out of it. Your lies have been proven. I shall put you to death on this very spot. Huh? Wait a moment. You said you were killed by the God of Destruction. But then how are you alive right now? <laughs> Looks like you finally realized. Ah, I see. Now I get it. This can only mean... You're a ghost, aren't you? <laughs> the big old evil spirit! Rest in peace! Rest in peace! Dumbass. Huh? That's not it? Then how, may I ask, are you still alive at this very moment? Overlord Ivar, it seems you may not be aware. But there exists a spell that can supersede even death. What did you say? A spell that supersedes death? Yeah, that's right. It's called Super Reincarnation. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world! The year was 666X, and the netherworld was shrouded in atomic flames! Remember kids, it's not cool to play with fire! The curtain rose for the battle between Zed, heir of the ultimate demon technique, and Ivar, overlord of the century's end. Didn't I just say it's not cool to play with fire? Shut up and get flamed! Stop that! 
Didn't anyone ever teach you it's rude to flamethrow people? Zed emerged from the heated battle victorious. He then lived happily ever after with his little sister, Thea. I lived my life without a single regret. Uh, huh? Wait, did he even have a little sister? And not a single piece of Ivar remained. The wheels of reincarnation never stop. And thus, a new story begins. Get up, Zed. The super reincarnation process is almost finished. How many tens of thousands of times have we done this now? Damn, it seems like it's still not enough. Your opponent's the strongest god of destruction to ever exist. You can't expect to defeat it that easily. If you don't like super reincarnating, then get stronger and defeat it already. After that, you'll be done. All right, I get it. <laughs> this world is pretty flashy. I never could have imagined a place like this growing up in the graveyard. Hmm, this appears to be the human world. But... Oh, hero, how could you have fallen like this? Who the hell are you? I am Mizador, king of the human world. And it's my duty to resurrect the hero whenever he or she falls in battle. <laughs> Me? A hero? What the hell is this guy talking about? I have heard rumors that the king of the human world has the special ability to resurrect heroes. Perhaps his ability resonated with your super reincarnation, bringing us to this world. That all sounds like gibberish to this rotten brain of mine. What are you mumbling about, oh hero? There's no time for you to lie dead. You must defeat the god of destruction. Defeat the God of Destruction, huh? I don't need you to tell me to do that. I'll fight it as many times as it takes. Wait! Where do you think you're going, oh hero? Shut up! I ain't no hero, damn it! <laughs> 